I thought the art of puppetry and the idea of playing monsters from inside rubber suits was something I invented, like the telephone or the phrase happy birthday. It turns out it started before me. The Creature from the Black Lagoon and its sequels in the mid-1950s is still one of the most successful designs of the man in a rubber suit world to this day. It was complemented heavily by the performances of two different actors, Ben Chapman on land and Rico Browning for the incredible underwater work. The guy in the gorilla suit? That's Ray Crash Corrigan. He grew up to be a big Western star, but back in 1948 in the film Unknown Island, he was playing this giant gorilla. A giant gorilla is one thing, but take a look at these dinosaurs from the land unknown in 1957. They may not look great by today's standards, but consider the time period. These were ambitious characters to try to pull off. Luckily, fashion, even in the rubber monster suit world, does evolve. The key feature that bridges all of this performance work is that it happens for the most part in real time, involving other actors in front of the camera and under the director's control. Audiences today are inundated with a level of imagery on movie screens and television far beyond what was considered cutting edge even five years ago. And if that imagery is going to carry any weight in helping to tell a story, it's the responsibility of the puppeteer and the performer who may be involved to be as technically efficient, as prepared as any actor who presents a character on screen. Let's not forget the audience isn't just watching pictures, it's experiencing a story. And let's not forget that we're not just men in suits, we're actors. My plan for this lesson is to present some of the basic tools or skills that can be developed to help you tell part of that story, and the physical and mental discipline required to do it from inside 80 pounds of rubber and plastic. So now let's start by taking a look at the different kinds of puppetry and performance that are used to bring some of the most effective and imaginative creatures to life. Follow me as we look at the world of special character puppeteering and performance. Here we are. Let's talk about puppeteering. 